Hi and welcome to 3D Print Tech Design. Today we're doing a quick video on how we're scanning this yoke. And that is not a joke. Uh, apparently this is called a yoke. Yoke. It's for driving airplanes. Looks pretty cool. So here in Norway there's this group of youths that are building a own flight simulator. I mean how cool is that? Uh, basically they're doing it with an old airplane. So they're using a real, uh, I think it's uh, some sort of Cessna. And they're building a platform to be able to make that move and in synchronization with software. They're basically building a real flight simulator. But basically when Victor asked me if I could uh, 3D scan this, because they are printing a copy of this, they only have one of the yokes, they need one of the co-pilots. Um, so of course I said, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Um, so I got this in the mail and basically I'm all, all I'm going to do is to 3D scan it. They only need it for 3D printing, so the tolerances, getting all the different screws and all that is it's important but it's not it's not for like reverse engineering and doing high quality stuff we will be checking out how to convert this into a functional step file later on in a separate video but for now all we're going to do today is to scan and get a good sdl file that they can print a copy of so to do that i will be using the thunk 3d fisher s 3d scanner i still have this from the review and if you're interested in this scanner you can check out the re review down below Um, basically this is a handle scanner, works really well with these kind of objects. There's a high resolution mode and a standard resolution. I'll be using a mixture of them both. So with that said, all we really have to do is to, like you do with any 3D scan, is to start planning the scan. This is a really terrible object to scan because it's dark and it's also really shiny. Um, so it's really impossible to get any light reflections on this object. So we'll be have to using some sort of contrast spray. So this is the spray that I'm using. It's from Fluchtig, called Sucludision spray or something. <laughs> Anyways, it works like this. You just spray it over and it's a really thin matte finish. It's almost like uh, some sort of powder. Works great. So you just spray the whole object like that. And that makes a great surface to scan. And yeah, scanning is not very complicated. It's basically going around, making sure you have traction. I'm using the papers down below to help with traction and avoiding using any reflective markers. Yeah, so walking around, I've shown that in review. If you wanna learn how to scan, you can check out that video. Basically, I scan all around the object from different angles. And in the result in, a, in the software, I basically only deleted everything that I didn't want to have. And I actually did some of the alignments in the software, but here's a way how it works. So you can see there's two overlapping scans, or hopefully you can see. And using this tool, the, the computer software here will kind of align them together. Uh, you can do all that inside the scanning software, but this, this software just has a few different tools, and I'm trying it out. Um, yeah, so you can see as well, uh, doing fine tuning, and there's a deviation limit that keeps, keeps on making better. And this is the result, a really good looking SDL file, ready to be printed and ready to be delivered. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching. This was a short video on how to basically 3D scan this object. If you're interested in 3D scanning, maybe reverse engineering of 3D scans and all that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe, leave a like rating in this video and please visit the links down below. And feel free to contact me if you have any questions about the Thunk 3D scanner, 3D scanning in general, or, well, not airplanes, I don't know a lot of those. Um, so thanks so much for watching, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!